not that. Um, no, I think um, game of moments really. Some bits um, we're disappointed with. The, uh, the obvious one is the goals. Um, the first goal is a consequence of not starting bright enough in terms of um, just being on the front foot and anticipation. And we knew it was going to be a game of that. Um, and then uh, obviously the second goal is never a free kick. Oh, sorry, it should be a free kick on Morgan before it. Clear. But then, but then we have to defend it better. You know, first, second contact and then drops for the third one. Uh, players run, running off players. So, so we, you know, there'll be a lot of talk about the referee's performance and, th you know, things like that. But we, I'll always look at stuff that we should do better as well. And, um, you know, we have to do better on the, on the two goals. Um, pleased with a few things. Obviously, you know, I'll, I'll never shy away from anything and what happened at West Ham last week can, can sometimes be a little bit damaging so for us to to show the character we did and be then in the following game going down early and then again 2-1 and show the resilience to to stick to the plan and get something out of the game play well second half no doubt about that game was played in there half they did have some counter attacks it was always going to be the case they play that way anyway and are, and are good at it um, but um, I'm watching the game thinking, you know, I like us and, you know, we, we, we look like the, the team with momentum. But then wondering if we're going to get chances because aerial is difficult because of the size of them. Um, ground is difficult because there's so many bodies around their box. So to end up getting a moment and scoring was great. Um, and then thinking, walking off really, the lads are disappointed they've not won, you know. So given everything, you know, pleased with the attitudes of the players. Like I said, some things we didn't like, but some things we did. Um, two teams having a go, you know, but referees had too much involvement in, in the game, really. So, um, as you said, John, and whoever said at the start of the question, good for the neutrals, but maybe not so much for, for, for us. And I don't know what to think about it, but certainly what we think about it. What do you make of the Brennan's obviously two good goals? Really he, coming to he, is, he is, isn't he? You know, and, and I don't mind talking about it because I see him every day and he only wants to get better so he won't get too high or too low. Um, but um, goals were great. Um, performance was good. Very good. You know, he's getting players and people are getting booked, tackling him and things like that, which means he's, you know, he's, he's taking risks. You know, he had a really good impact in the game today. Morgan was involved as well in on yeah. How excited are you about those two? Yeah, we've talked about it before, Paul. Of them, yeah, now it's an important part of our team, and you know we wanted Morgan to play off the side a little bit at the start because we felt that Everton were quite compact and there might not be enough room to get him the ball. And we'll build a game plan sometimes, thinking, how oh, can we get Morgan and Brennan the ball? Not uh, shy away from that. And then we changed a little bit second half, and because the, the, the game was going as it was, and we wanted to get some some more different width on the pitch and. Um, Ended up working quite nicely, so yeah, pleased with their, with their connection for, for sure. And um, like I said, I thought the lads played. You know, not looking at one player thinking didn't play well today, and I'm not. I'm looking at maybe moments we could have done better with, but really happy with the. Um, really happy with how we we stuck to um, getting something out of the game because it, it was one of them where it could have gone either way really after what happened last week. So we should take positives from that. It's a good sign, you know. I'm disappointed with the ref, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to say anything that's going to get me into trouble, but too much impact on the game. And and, and because of the performance, it, it um, there were some defining moments. The, the key ones for me was the decision that ended up the ball going into the box on, on the second goal, which, yeah, we should do better with, but the ball shouldn't have gone in then in the first place because it was a foul the other way first to Morgan. And and when Tarkovsky gets booked on Lodi, which was fine, yellow card, no problem, but he's blown up and Brennan's in a 1v1. That cannot happen at this level. Cannot happen at this level. So um, so it's not good for, for him either, the ref, because he's obviously going to be really gutted with that and um, probably, you know, will be looked at, I hope, um, by the people responsible. Um, and a pity, really. It's a pity that, you know, there's things like that that are, that are affecting games. Steve, both um, managers have come out of this, talked about the referee now. You've mentioned it a couple of times, Sean Dyche. Did the same, maybe you've got different views on it, but he felt when Seamus Coleman went down in the box, he said, he said to the referee, that's not a penalty, I don't know what is. What's mm. your take on that? Is I didn't see it, to be honest. I didn't see it. Uh, I'm not saying it was or it wasn't, yeah. so I'm not shying away. I can't remember the incident either, so I wasn't looking at it thinking that could be a pen. Um, 
No, they've done all right, Everton, out the ref today. There's no, no doubt about that. They've done all right out of the referee today. Um, and, I, and to be fair, there's probably some small things that won't maybe went our way, but the big things. Um, and to be fair, like I said, two, it was two teams having a go. And, and they and us will want to win or lose a game by what, what we do as a team and what they do as a team. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm not saying it was all down to the ref, but so it's sort of their moments where it's just, it's just can't happen. Can't happen at this level, in my opinion. You no, but I might go and see him now. I might go and see him. So I'll ask more about the game in a minute, but last, towards the back end of last week in your pre-match press conference, you described how important Forest is for you. And in terms of online, the response to that from Forest fans was was big. You know, it, it means a lot for Forest fans that you would articulate um, how much it means to you. So on the pitch today, when you see the support, um, how important is that to you? And how important is that to the team in terms of their results on the pitch that you've got? some fantastic support, you know, at home. What does that mean to, to you, but also to the results you get on the pitch? Listen, it's, how I feel is not new. Um, it's not just because I said something the other, the other, the other day. Um, I'm not sure, is this your first game here this year? No. No, okay, sorry, I'm being respectful. But the atmosphere is amazing here, every, every, single, every single game. So, um, and, you know, you see a team losing for... You know, spells in the game at the home team, and you see the support. It's we're we're really lucky that we are uh, a home crowd at the moment. That when things are going against us, that the crowd gets even better. And you know, you don't see that everywhere. You know, so we're we're really lucky that we've that we've got that, and I, I'm really grateful to that. If there's any personal support coming to me, then I'm really grateful. Um, but whatever they feel for me. I feel even more to them, so that's how it is. Um, but we're just really enjoying working together and and um, doing everything we can for this football club in, in in trying to create positive steps. That's all we want to do. We, everybody wants the same thing, and we've we've realised over the last year or so that the best way to do it is to be re- really together, and um, that's what we're gonna we're gonna aim to do because we all need each other, you know. So I'm grateful to the support today. Um, definitely, I think. Everton thought, well, where are we? You know, and you could see second half um, and um, drived on the lads. And um, like I said, second half, we deserve to get the equaliser and if anything, go and win the game. But but we respect Everton as well and uh, their, their contribution to the game. Ryan Yates has been out for quite a while and he's the sort of player that really epitomises, mm. means a lot to the fans, epitomises yeah. the sort of football you play. How how big is it that he's back, yeah. fit, ready to play? No, really big, yeah. And we got other lads coming back as well. And um, you know, we've got we've got loads of lads are not available to play. And but we don't we don't talk about that because that's not our way. We commit commit to the lads who are available. The eighty now is. I probably played him a little bit longer than I should have, so I apologise to the medics for that. Um, but um, you're right, he does epitomise who, who we are and what we want to be. So it was great to have him back. Just with the amount of injuries that, that have come your way this season, how important is it to get people yeah. like back Nick Carty on the bench? Yeah, 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 no, no, he wasn't on the bench, Musa, but he's not far away from me, not quite ready for that yet. Um, he needs another good week's training before maybe thinking about that. But, um, but yeah, no, we, it'd be great when some players come, come back because we've got a lot of good players that are not, not available. But I repeat, we don't, we don't talk about that. It'd be great when they're back with us. Um, Check who's not far away, Ty who's not far away. Um, like I said, Musa's not far away. You know, they're three really big players for us, and I'm probably missing some some as well. well. I know I'm missing some that are not available, Scott. So um, Willie's a bit longer. I can't have to mention everybody now, and I. <laughs> who, else, who else is there? Omar. Um, yeah, Dean. Dean. Yeah. So um, it's Jesse. No, Jesse's with us. To be fair. So. Um, so yeah. So. Um, yeah, we'll just like I said, focus on the next game, see who's available and commit to the plan. It's one more game gone, Steve, and it's a, you know, a big game today. Where do you see yourself now, you know, in terms of the week? I see ourselves trying to sort our away form out this week. I see ourselves facing up to, to what's not been good enough away from home. Really tough one next, obviously. Uh, and, and continue one step at a time. So... Um, yeah, you know, whatever happened today, I know I think it would have been seven points, I think, if we'd won. And I don't even know what it is, four or five points, is it maybe less? I don't know. It's, it's like, um, 
whatever happened today could could have been good or bad, but it wasn't going to be confirming anything. It's, it's going to be games like today now for a while, and it's brilliant. We want to be part of it. We want to relish these challenges. We we don't want to be hiding away from it. We've worked all our life to be here, and supporters have waited over 20 years for games like today and days like today. So hence the the atmosphere and the togetherness. So what a place to be. Let's go. Steve, um, Brennan showed last season James. comfortable with the sort of um, spotlight of having the, the pressure on his shoulders to score the goals. Mm. Has, he, has he now got to the level where he can shoulder that in the, in the Premier League? Oh, there's always a level to get to, James. I think that for sure he's, he's, he's on an upward curve, is that the right word? But um, and, and, and took a little bit of a rocky road before the break. Um, but that was always going to happen and, and young players, the other young players in the group are going through it now and um, but at the moment he's he's performing really well. He's getting numbers, but as always, it's about continuing to improve. And I don't mind saying positive things about Brendan because I see how how committed he is and how much he wants to get better. And he knows that 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 is still a long way to go. It's natural because of his age and first year in the Prem. So um, now we're really pleased with Brendan. He loves the club. He's a local boy. Grew up down the road. So it's great to see him bang into in today. Safe journey, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.